Hey crew, it's Pitt, and I'm back with some more Unreal Engine and Lender. We're going to be doing some asset modification in this one because I'm not happy with the way that the roofs turned out on the last. And so we're going to dive in and we're going to show fixing that problem. Let's go ahead and make our transition over. This is Unreal Engine. This is the shifted game. I spent a good deal of time over the weekend in the last few days fixing these walls and making sure that I understood the UVs and making sure that I understood how to make things line up in a way that was acceptable. It may not be perfect because I don't have the experience yet, but it is acceptable. And now it is time to do the roofs. And in order to do the roofs, I'm going to take y'all along with me. It's a little bit more complicated than the walls was. We're not going to do the entirety of all the roof sections. I have many many roof sections I have three different degrees and I think six pieces in each one but we're gonna do this base one right here and we're gonna do this corner right here because I don't like the way that they're lining up this right here is my ceiling tiles they're also the floor tiles but they double um, and it's poking out of my shingles so we need to fix that issue these shingles don't quite align in the way that I like and they don't lap quite right uh, the, the lapping will fix the snapping on another one, but first we're going to fix the UVs and everything on this base. So let's swing over into Blender. I've already pulled up the base. And here's what we have. So let's go ahead. We'll look right here. I'm going to pull this up so we can see it. Now let's pull it way up so it doesn't snap anywhere. So we're going to isolate this up here. The way it's laid out now. Uh, the UV unwrap is not quite right. You can see it's off angle here. It's the right angle there. It's off angle on this side and it's off. It's right on this side uh, Actually, it's upside down on this side So we're gonna fix that. We're also gonna fix these dimensions because I'm not all that thrilled with the way that this blockiness goes into my roof tiles when I first thought about this I was thinking that I would just take this entire piece and it would serve as my ceiling for the interior of the, the domain, but I'm not liking that. And uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna thin this up a little bit. We're gonna change the shape, remap it, re-UV it. All right, so now into Blender. We're looking at it head on here. So what I'm gonna wanna do first is I'm going to select all. I'm going to go hit uh, Control E below my edge menu and I'm going to clear all seams on this so that now none of the seams are highlighted in red. That means they are not marked for UV mapping. Uh, we're going to, while there's nothing there, I've got to remember how to, uh, to move in here as opposed to Unreal. It's a little bit different. All right, we're going to Control R. We're going to uh, put a cut line here. We're going to drag this to the front and I would really like we're going to drop that right there and let's pull up a dimension on that. Uh, where's my drop down? Right here. Viewport overlays. I can get edge length. I no longer need these angles. So what I can do now is see the edge length from the, the front I want it to come back about a third of an inch. So we're going to go, let's see, that's moving in there. We want it about 0.33. That's about a third of an inch. All right. Oh, we're going to put another one right behind that. And it's going to go to about 0.33 as well. Actually, let's do this. We're going to take this farther back. I want a little bit more of an overhang than this. So we're going to go about point five and then we will grab this and we will drag that to where it oh no that is not working let's reset that we will grab this edge and we'll pull that forward uh, we want about a third of a foot so about point three three if I can get it that's close All right uh, this is gonna be an edge so what we're gonna do we're gonna go over to this face we can grab this face, hit E, drop it, grab it on the Z, negative uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. 
and that's going to give us a facing. That's going to raise it up just a little bit so that when we're inside here, it'll raise it up past this roof tile and it'll give us a wooden edge around the overside with an overhang of the shingles. Uh, we will set our snap points inside of this overhang so that it comes down on top of the walls and covers these ceiling tiles while giving us a little bit of something extra to break this stuff up. Alright, this is built for as far as that's concerned. Now what I want to do is to take this edge here. Let's go back to edge. So we're going to hit uh, the number two. Go back to edge. And we're going to drag this all the way in. I want to maintain a little bit right on the outside edge there. But this going away to nothing is fine with me. This back doesn't even really need a texture. Uh, and honestly, I'm probably going to get rid of this. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit three to go to faces. Grab both of these and make a face out of it. Grab both of these, make a face out of it, and grab both of these and make a face out of it. Yeah, not shipped out. And then we're going to go into vertex mode, and I'm going to grab these vertexes that are now floating for no reason. I'm going to hit X, and I'm going to dissolve the vertices. If I was to just delete it, it would unpin this, this entire edge, but dissolving it gets rid of the vertex without dissolving your edge. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing here. And so now we don't have any free loose vertexes anywhere. But we need to mark this edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to edges. I want this entire face to be one material. This is going to be my shingles. Uh, not face. I need uh, control E and M will mark the face. All right. Now, this underhang right here is going to be one color. So we're going to do the same thing here. And then this is going to be a separate color. That was wrong. Let's go ahead and control E and M. Alright. Now, what we have here, if we look at it, we have this is one color. So we're going to put shingles will be assigned right there. Then we're going to have another color right here. We're going to go ahead and use the ceiling material because that is not uh, going to be a ceiling anymore. But it, we're just going to assign it so we don't have to change that. And then we'll use this as a facing. This is going to be uh, a wood trim. And then we'll go ahead and we need to unwrap the rest of it. Uh, let's actually that might actually lay out right there if I do this corner here uh, and here and we're going to unwrap and look at it so control E M we're going to select all hit U for the unwrap go to smart UV project go up by 2 because I like to go up by 2 we're going to go over to UV editing and we're going to look at it and see what it looks like. Okay, so, no. We, uh, we're, well, hold on, let's see. Well, first off, let's pen it. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. Where's this facing at? We're good there. This facing is there. This is not bad. This is not bad. All right, now this size of this is, this is an eight by four, right? Let me look at my dimensions. Go to object, look at my dimensions. This is eight by nine by eight. So it's an eight by eight. So <clears throat> here's what that means. If we go back into edit mode and we look over here at our UV editor, this square right here represents the material that you will be using. Yeah, the more space that you take up on this, the more that the texture fits inside your box. Uh, the smaller you make it, the larger the texture appears. The larger you make it, the smaller the texture appears. 
eight by eight just so happens to fit the 4K mega, mega scans pretty exactly. So we're going to scale this up to where it fits there. And then I'm not going to scale it over yet, but it will probably have to be scaled over uh, to where it fills this whole section. But we'll look at it and see. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to go and scale it up too. The more you scale it, the better the definition is going to be. I'm really not wanting to distort the shape too much. That's why I'm going to hold off on scaling it on the X. Uh, but the more material that you can get inside of the picture, the better. And you can fix inside of, blend, of Unreal with the nodes in the materials. You can fix a lot of the problems that you're going to run into. Uh, and the more that you can get into it, the better, because you can shrink it there. Alright, so, we're going to take this, we will save it real quick, and we will set up an export. So we're going to export an FBX, because we are going into Unreal Engine, selected objects, mesh, X forward, Z up. And then we're going to go to geometry, we're going to go faces. We're going to export this FBX. I'm going to go into Unreal, and I'm going to come down here to Roofs. Oh, wait, I need to open it. And we are in the 45 Roofs, and we will go to Base, and we will re-import it. And we will come up here and look at it. How about that? All right, so let's see where we're at here. That's not bad spacing on that. Uh, I think if we stretch it a little bit, it will actually make them sh but the, them shingles look a little bit more natural. So let's try that. We're going to grab this face so that I got the right one. We are going to scale that on the X out to where this takes up the entire square. And we're going to look at it this way. So we're going to save that. We will export it. And our settings should save because we haven't closed the program or opened a new project. Everything looks to be the same. So we're going to export it. We will go back to Unreal, we will go here, and we will re-import Blambo. That actually looks like it is a little bit smaller, doesn't it? I don't know that I really care for those, but we can fix that in the inside the game. We've got more in here than we really need, and we can fix that by scaling it inside of the game using blueprints. Uh, what we now have is a solid 8x8 uh, square. It's considered one whole material for the shingles. So that when we get to the 45 and we no longer have that spacing, we know we're no longer going to have an 8x8 square. We're going to have a 45 degree angle. And we can use geometry to make that match. So, next up, we are going to save we will save all, save selected. We will come here and we are going to save this so it doesn't disappear on us. And we are going to open a 45 exterior corner blend. And that's going to give us this bad boy. And the first thing we're going to do here is select everything. We're going to unwrap it. Uh, so we're going to control E and we're going to clear scene. Uh, so now all of our previous unwrappings no longer apply. All of our seams are gone. We do not want... Well, first off, let's go ahead and get a control R. And we're going to move this up to 0.5. Can I pull up my thingy? And we need edges. Let's pull up my edges again. That is the wrong one. No, it's over here. Right here. All right. Edge length. All right. Now we've got this edge. My gizmo apparently is not on. So let's pull it 2.5. Right here. There we go. And then we're going to do another one right here. 
with the same. We're going to pull that to 0.5. And then we will cut it again. Wow, I don't know what happened there. Wow, that is... That's a lot of fun. <laughs> what did you do, Pit? Let's, uh... Right, control R. Alright, let's take that off. This is interesting. How can I... It didn't wrap all the way around that way. So let's take both of these off. Okay. Alright. I'm going to have to turn this back on though. Okay. You know, edge length is on. And move gizmo is on. Alright. May oh, it's because of this funky cut. That's what it is. It is best to cut all of this. Like it would have been better to make these lines whenever this was a square. That that's what the problem is. So, hmm, it's not cutting. It. Maybe if I put at the top here. That's not doing anything. Let's go to wireframe and look at that. Now, see, that's not applying anything on any of these faces. Let's try. It's because it goes down to a single point at the top up here. I know what the problem is. Uh, I just don't know how to fix the problem. Let's go up here. We're going to hit the delete key so that we can see. All right, let's go back over to our rendered view. Yeah, that is a single point. It's this single point. So let's go down here and look at you. Yeah, those are all single points. So. Let's try this. We will do uh, up here at the top. Let's just go back up here. We'll back out a little bit. Turn around and then we're going to. We're going to make a knife cut. So we're going to hit K. We'll start here. We'll come here. We'll go there. And then hit Enter. And we just created extra faces. So maybe now we can apply this. That looks like maybe it's doing it. But let's get it where we can get a better view. All right. Control R. Yeah. Okay. So that's working now. Okay, we're good. Let's fix this now. I need to go back down here. Alright, so we're going to make our control R here. We will pull this up to 0.5. And then we will go over here and do the same thing. Let's move this over a little bit. Bastard. I don't want to be on that side of the line. I want to be on this side of the line. Why can I not be on this side of the line? Let's put that there. We can take it out later. See if that helps. That does not help. I don't know what to do here. Hmm. What if we grab this entire edge? Alright, let's do it this way. Actually, we don't want the entire edge. We want this edge and this edge. And if we extrude, drop, scale in to where we are at a half inch or a half measure here. Let's see. That would be about right here. All right. Let's check. That looks... It looks all right. <laughs> all right, now we're going to have the problem that underneath these, we're going to hide that with H. We're still going to have this. So let's go ahead. No, not, not yet. We're going to unhide that. 
Okay, now give me my edges back. We've got this one and this one. We need to make another inside. So we're going to go extrude, drop it, scale with the S, and we're going to bring that in 0.3. Blam. There we go. All right, now we need to dress up these corners. We're going to take this edge and this edge, and we're going to drag this all the way out to the edge here. And then we will take this one by itself and drag it all the way out to the edge here. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Grab both of these, drag them out to, oh wait, what just happened? There we go. Drag that out to the edge here and out to the edge here. And just to make sure we're right, we are going to hit 7 for top view. 9 to flip that. We're going to look at the bottom. And we're going to come in the orthographic view and just make sure that we've got these lined up right. Looks good. What about here? That one can actually come out just a bit more. And just a bit. There we go. That looks good. Now, a little bit, a little bit. Right there. All right. So, now what we have is we're going to grab this face. And no, not that face. That face. And these should be able... No. We're going to have to extrude them. So, we hit E. We're going to drop the extrusion. We're going to grab it on the Z by negative 0.3. And there we go. We have our edge. We have our lip. Now, we're going to get rid of this face. So, we're going to hit X, F. It's going to leave all the rest of the geometry in place. But it's going to get rid of that face. We have all of this filled in because we already have built this with our extrusions just now. And all we need to do now is to take it this corner right here and bring it in to this point right here. So we're going to select this one first. Then we'll select this one. We're going to hit M to merge. And we're going to hit L to merge at the last one you clicked. All right. That is not quite right. Let's do this first. Alt Z to undo that. I'm going to need another, hmm, let's do this. We're going to get rid of this facing too. So let's go to three for face. We're going to X, F to get rid of that face. We're going to go back to uh, the number one. We're going to grab one, two, three, four vertices. We're going to hit F to make that face. And we're going to take this, hit 3, grab this face, X to delete, F for the face, 1 for the vertexes. We're going to grab 1, 2, 3, 4 vertexes and hit F. And so now we've got that face. And then we're going to grab 1, 2, 3, four and hit F and now we have a face there all right now let's get rid of our extra vertices that we had to create in order to get the cut we're gonna grab well first let's get oriented here let's grab this face so we hit three and if we had period uh, the number pad period or number pad delete gives you focus on whatever you have selected so if I was to select this vertex down here, it brings me in a very tight focus on this vertex. But if I go to faces and I go to this face, it's going to scope out and I'll have a much better scope across these faces. We're going to go back to vertexes and now that our camera is set right. Well, actually, we're going to go to edges first. So we're going to hit two. We're going to dissolve this edge. And then we're going to dissolve this edge. Then we're going to go to vertexes. And it looks like it already got rid of them for me. Excellent. But just to make sure, 
we're going to pop over to wireframe make sure we don't have anything sticking out looks good looks good all right pop back over here we are going to go to faces we're going to hit a no we're not no we're not we're not there yet we're going to hit e, number two and we're going to go to edges and we're going to isolate these faces so we're going to grab this edge this edge this edge and there is a problem here so let's see what that is we need there's something wrong with this edge right here let's look at it that is where I had that cut and it doesn't look right but maybe it's just because these two are combining all right so one two three and we're gonna control E M one two control E M one there and there we'll go here and here no here no here <laughs> control E and M actually we need that one too tried so hard not to get it and I didn't need to do that isn't that a life huh all right one more right here all right that isolates this face this face this face and this face so we need to grab this edge this edge this edge this edge and then this crease right here we're gonna mark those out we will go to this corner over here and mark this and then over here and mark this and we should be good to unwrap so let's grab everything unwrap it smart UV project move it up to that it does not look right so let's figure out what's going on here we got one there and we got one there these two should be equal but are definitely not equal ah I know what my problem is all right let's go over to object mode uh, this has been a, a bane of my existence I keep forgetting to do this if you look here we have changed the dimensions and that has reset the scale if we hit control a while in object mode we get our apply menu if you go to all transforms it sets your scale to where this is now one unit that's the problem if we go back here we have them all selected we hit unwrap again we get a much different unwrap these now look to be about the same but the orientation is most definitely off this looks to be the top yep and that's the top so let's see what is this face why is it so funky oh you know what we need to add a cut here we need a face right here so between those two what just happened it did not make my cut instead we now have let's do this uh, first off undo that attempted cut then we're going to go here and we will grab this face and we will get rid of it X F and we will go here one two three you want either <clears throat> three or four vertexes um, in every face you do not want any more than four three is fine because it's going to break the four into three but if you go any higher than that it makes it really complicated on your processor so you want to remain as few as possible all right now that we've got that let's go ahead and grab this edge and mark it because otherwise it's going to give us a really funky 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 overlay there let's go ahead and we'll take it this way and see how that does all right now grab all unwrap smart project go and beautiful that is much much better all right now let's get our orientations correct 
We need three. We need you. We're going to grab that and bring it here. We need you. We're going to grab that and bring it here. Grab me. The top is this point and that point. So we're going to go back to fa faces. We're going to rotate this to where it points. Top points up. We'll grab that and put it right here for now. And then we're going to take this and we're going to rotate it to where the top points up. We're going to grab that and we're going to put that right here for now. The scale is still not quite right, but there is something going on right here. There's something going on around here. Let's try a... We're going to grab all of it. We are going to go here to mesh, clean up, delete loose. And let's try to unwrap that again. I don't understand why these are not really doing right. But we'll fix it manually. That's what we'll do. This is going to be this face. And this is the top, right? All right. So give me this one. We are going to rotate you all the way around like so. And then we'll pull this down here. Mainly so I can check to make sure that this bottom is square. If the bottom is square on a 90 degree angle, then you're going to have it going in the right direction. Then we're going to grab you. And we're going to pull this over. And we're going to make this match. So we're going to scale this up a bit. Alright, that is an X match. If you hit the G button and the arrow keys, you can move this in a more precise manner. If you hit S and do the same. Alright, and then we're going to scale this on the Y. Y is up and down, X is side to side. So, we're going to make this, that looks close. We're going to grab it, pull it up. We can go just a little bit more there. So we're going to scale that on the Y a little bit more until those dots match. There. And then if we want to rotate it just a little bit, we have a much better match. All right, we're going to scale it some more. Scale it up. Right there. Grab it. Move it up there. Over there. And then we'll rotate it just a little bit more. Right there. Grab it. I'm just lining this up so that the UVs are somewhat right. I don't think it's going to quite match up because it is a little bit funky. Alright. But what we have now is two faces that are really much too small. So I'm going to need to move these out of the way for a minute. Grab all of this. Move all of this out of the way. I'm going to take this, actually, hold on, before I move all of that out of the way. Where are these faces? So, give me this face over here. Give me this face over here. I'm going to need to make those two match. And then give me this face over here. And this face over here. We're going to need to make those two match because these are visible to the player. So we're going to rotate this by 90 degrees. So hit R and then 90, 9 zero, and enter. And then if we pull this, actually let's grab it and pull it up here first. And then we're going to scale it on the X to where it just about matches. That way the paint's about the same. And then we're going to grab this. And that, that's actually a pretty close match. So we'll take this and we'll grab all three of these. And what we're going to do now is make this biggerized so that it fits. Uh, we're going to actually grab that and pull it here. We're going to scale this back down just a bit. Because the other one only took up about half, right? But we are going to scale this. No, 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 it didn't. We went the whole route with it. We're going to have to scale this. Uh, 
Man, I really hate to do that. Okay, we're going to scale this on the Y. And we're going to squish it just a bit. Bring this in. I'm trying to keep these faces and this face to a common scale. But actually, I could just grab this and make sure that it fits across the entirety. And then grab this and make sure it fits. In. And see, this is going to need to scale on the Y and fit the entire thing. And then, then these are good. So this, we're going to make it fit. We're going to grab it. We want to make sure that it just barely covers the entire thing. So now we need to pull this this way and scale it out on the X a bit. That was not right. Scale that on the X. No, what are you doing? Scale X. There you go. That's how it works. Alright, so now we have it covering the full scope of the, the paper. If you took this and flipped it out, it would be there, but we want it to align correctly. Let's make sure that we have the correct vertexes we do not. So which one of these is the wrong one? Let's pull this over just a bit. Grab this. Okay, so it is this face. Right. This face needs to rotate 90. And that's going to put that vertex at the top for both of these. Alright, back to faces. Grab this. Pull it back in here. Then grab this, we're going to pull it down to the bottom here, we we'll grab this, we'll put it on the side over here. The rest of these are not visible, so we're going to scale them down a bit, and we will stack them a little bit better, so that it's more compact, hopefully without many overlaps, like it's not possible to have no overlaps. <clears throat> and Unreal Engine 5 is a lot better about recognizing the overlaps as what they need to be. Let's get a save. Let's export this as an FBX. We're going to have to set this up again because we opened a new project. And then we're going to make sure that we have X forward, Z up, and we are going to smooth the face and export our FBX. All right, now this is our piece. I did not. One more thing. One more thing. Alright, give me faces. We want one, two faces assigned to shingles. Alright, we want one, two faces assigned to facing. And then we want one, two faces assigned to ceiling. And then we're going to make a fourth new backing yeah, let's do that backing and this is going to be everything that is not visible right. two this is not visible 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 and there should be one more right there all right we're going to go backing assigning that goes to everything no white is showing to me so we're going to change that to the color of pink <laughs> all right and now we're going to save that we're going to export it because we set it up we don't have to hit everything again everything should be the same hit export we're going to go to our exterior corner here and re-import that because we changed this material, you're going to get this pop-up. If you just hit refit, set the FBX, it takes care of everything. Bam. Alright, now, let's look at it. It reset this to, if we go to static mesh, all of our materials are the same except for the brand new one right here. So we're going to take this and we'll just make that. All right, that's going to give us our nice pretty pink, right? We can do the same thing here. Uh, I'm going to have to re-export that because I didn't put a separate material on that. But now, we've got our shingles. They look to be aligned correctly. Let's pull this over. And we're going to make it snap so that we can check our alignment. It's a little bit off. 
the way that you fix that is by your alignment like the size looks right but the the the, the verticality is not right the way that you fix that is right here if you grab this face and this one. well let's do it over here grab this face and this face which are the two that are showing right and then they both should be the same for themselves let's check this edge and actually they're a little bit out of a line right there so we're going to take this one we're going to come here and you can see the out of alignment right here if we grab that and we pull this to here and there now they'll be in an alignment so we go here and we save and we export one more time my voice is just about dead y'all we we're just about done there so let's re-import and i'm going to show y'all then pay attention to these two all right we got our exterior corner re-import and it did not really change did it <laughs> let's do that one more time let's uh grab the same face grab it here we're going to pull it out of alignment by about half of what it was save it export it this is why y'all don't get to see a lot of this is because there is a lot of save export adjust save export adjust save export adjust re-import 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 there you saw it move now it's just a matter of doing that repeatedly over and over and over again until you get it right you will get it right i hope i brought a little bit of enlightenment and not too much confusion to a very difficult project we're going to fix all of these roofs and then I will readjust the snapping and we will talk about that I'll make another video on that one and then y'all will get to see let's go ahead while I got you here I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all some of the progress that we're making like I'm gonna have to go into unlit okay we're in unlit um, because I don't have any lighting in the game yet but we've snapped our walls like this will disappear uh, but I've colored all of this. This is all the same meshes, but because I have uh, created blueprints for them, each one of these can now be customizable. I am going to have to fix this wall. Uh, that's some of the adjustments that I'm going to have to do in the snap system, is making these fit quite right. I've eliminated the corner piece. I'm no longer using that. But we can change the color, and more than that, if you look right here now I have the two different colors that is because <clears throat> I have separated the materials like I showed y'all how to do and so I can independently assign a top and a bottom color to this you can make those divisions as much as you want you can have 47 panels on here you can have 400 panels on here each with a different texture it's up to you and the limitations of your game uh, so now let's go ahead and wrap it up I hope I brought just a little bit of enlightenment and not too much confusion to this topic. If you have questions, things that I haven't answered, let me know down below. I'm here to help you. I'm still learning too. I'm by no means <clears throat> the see-all, be-all expert in Blender or Unreal. But as I learn and I get a comprehension of these things, I will pass on my knowledge to you. Hopefully in a way that is legible, a way that is understandable, and a way that is not too low on the mic you can always turn the mic down sometimes you just cannot turn the speakers up so to the crew thanks for hanging out i appreciate every single minute that you are here with me and i am praying for you every single day and uh we're over an hour in my original tone of voice i love it thanks for hanging out uh till next time this has been pit state peace